What is up guys, Rickus here with a new video and today we are back on the Amazon service. Yeah, we finally starting again with the new series with Aspen, with our new Aspen. Already did the video actually on the Darkest Hour video, I have to say I didn't like it. I didn't like the video at all. Um, I will use the footage from it, you will definitely get to see some Dark SL, but it just won't be our first video. Um, we will do that in some other manner. Uh, but one thing, we now have the advent of Endgame, the Lord of Death Azrael release event, and it fixes a problem that we have. Because the problem that we actually have is, we don't have any more food. If you've watched the Project Phoenix video, uh, you saw me slaughtering basically all of our five stars and we don't really have a whole lot left and it won't be enough to get our Aspen to E5. But I bought the relay package because I think it's a pretty decent deal. You have some nice stuff in here. Where is it? Like on the last level you get 500,000 Stella, which is cool. Um, some cores and everything. You get um, artifact essence, which will help us make the next artifact, a hero selection chest, all the good stuff in here, but it also gives you VIP XP, and this VIP XP actually grants you those hellgazing stones. Um, we can do some summons here. Let's see if we can get a cool hero. Got the Ada from this one, which was pretty cool. And an Amra. An Amra would be dope. Oh, nothing. Sell. But it's alright, and these points that we got. I could actually use to buy a 10 star and we now have a 10 star so we can build the Aspen to E5. If you're wondering by the way, uh, and some of you I guess will, uh, what's the best choice for this slot? Uh, you can compare those things in different manners but one way I uh, looked at it, uh, I basically compared the Cloud Island chest and the skin selection chest and the way I looked at it, this chest will basically grant you uh, either the 150 Master 2 boxes, which can be quite nice, or it will grant you 1.6 million um, CI materials, which basically the reason for this you have to select one of the rewards, you won't get everything inside here. And if you take a look now at the Starry Gem Mall, then you can find those chests. And those chests basically include 100,000 uh, 100,000 CI materials and if you were to buy this pack three times and then you would need one additional chest which has a value of 50 starry gems you would pay 800 starry gems for 1.6 million CI materials and the skin selection chest that is also available here will cost you 1,250 starry to purchase so 450 more so if we're looking at the value here the skin selection chest is actually more value and i would say it's also better because the five extra levels uh, especially if you have a max lot turn out to be better um but that just as a side note if you are at this point and try to decide between those things uh, we took the 10 star and we can now upgrade our aspen to 10 star which will enable us to do a bunch of cool things and one of the main things that will enable us to do is actually enter the void. And this is very much so important, very important, because by entering the void we can not only use our cores, get access to Stella, um, but we will also get star spawns and will start farming void materials. And this will be pretty cool um, and will help us quite a lot to progress in the game and will this, uh, start basically the evolution of this Aspen to be a really strong hero. So without further ado, Let's level this Aspen to E5 as our first E5. And now we're done with that. Let's set some proper enables here. Unbending will will be quite nice. And uh, will also help us to progress a little bit more in Sealand. But as I said, we will see about that later. Um, for now, we actually have something rather nice to do. No, we don't buy that. Um, we have some cores. We have 97 cores actually. Uh, we should be able to buy one in Marketplace now as well. So now it's 98 cores, basically missing two cores uh, for the full 100. Do we get some cores? Uh, but we get some uh, back through the challenge and of course we get the 9 star from the challenges here as well. And we will now start using cores, opening the Gate of Void for the first time. Um, Compass of the Transcendent and what I've decided on basically, on this account we are going to go into Fate. And we are going to get um, some pretty nice steers, I hope. I don't go for fate on my main account, don't like it actually, but I think like as this is a secondary account, we might as well gamble a fair bit Amra for, for the SL progress. 
And then we have to decide on a hero from the regular factions. I'm not quite sure about which hero we are going to go for. Uh, we have the Aspen. Uh, likely we are going to need some rogues. I guess we are going to go for some rogues. That's quite nice. Uh, so that's our setup. We have 98 cores. We will get some additional ones through challenges as you get as also the first course we of course still get challenge course um the regular amount of the uh, spheres that we are supposed to get here would be don't let me lie uh it's one per 15 spheres 90 uh divided by 15 is of course six and then we have the eight so it's like six and a half uh, spheres we have to see if we can beat that um so without further ado, let's go ahead and get our first rolls in here. And that's already not looking too nice. Uh, not skipping the cutscene. We have a little bit of time, I guess. Um, I guess we will do like three or four without skipping and then the rest with skipping like we did in the other video. Hopefully we will get a sphere, but I think we got nine hellgazing stones. So that should be one sphere. Yeah, there it is. Our first sphere. So five more to go five and a half more to go till we are even and it's honestly i think we will do the first ones with skipping because you will still see it with the hell gazing stones yeah no sphere uh, it's kind of breaking it a little bit so let's do it again nine so we get a sphere that's destroying the whole video the age and the spoiler methods uh, if you didn't know the animation really doesn't matter and what you draw doesn't matter as well um the game decides on what is in the spheres as soon as you click this button as you click this button the hellgazing stones appear and i think we maxed out the event otherwise we will get eight spheres now and i don't think this is the case yeah so now we can we can go with the animations again um and have a look at that so no more spoilers here S nobody likes spoilers oh and ignis ignis is nice um pretty helpful as well Lord Balrog, no one needs it. Uh, we can get some good copies here. Amra, we take an Amra, will help us a bunch in Dark SL, um, blocking some of the hits. Tusilago, no, <laughs> no, we don't need that. We can, could use some th uh, spheres though. Um, how many do we have? We have two. Ah, guys, 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 guys. <laughs> it seems like now that I'm on my own account. <laughs> The luck has run out. <laughs> uh, we kind of need some spheres here. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, all that fate stuff is really not working out for me. <laughs> I was lucky once. I had one really good video with uh, fate summons. Uh, there we get a sphere. That's good. Some double spheres or something would be great. Like on the other video. <laughs> because like we are halfway now. Uh, like halfway with the spheres like over halfway with the uh with the course which is kind of a problem so two more temples then we'll have to collect the challenge course and then we will see uh how it turned out and one more sphere that's good that's good oh we still get some more stuff i thought this was already the 10th summon but no it isn't and then the right now it's rather good we get like one sphere summon if that continues we are all right as model um but i guess we should do better i want to do better <laughs> like i want to have some good fate boards some more spheres from that goodman of mine posted a video recently with some pretty nice boards and some quad puts as well rather insane but uh, i guess this is what we get my hero list is already full we take it as an opportunity to collect our challenge course here. Quite a bunch of those as well. We get one every 10 cores at this point. So as we do 100, we should get an additional 10 pull. That's rather nice. Uh, but now we have to do something about those. Uh, we can do nothing here. Now our back is full. That's not cool. That's not cool. Uh, I will think of a solution. Okay, problem solved. We should have like 40 slots. That should be all right. Um, and let's go for the next fate boots and see if we can actually beat guidance, which I would really appreciate. 
Uh, but it's at least not that horrific. It's at least not like we got no spheres. So we got some. Even if it ends up being uh, worse than fate, we are still rather okay. Transcending sphere. We of course have to think about we got 10 extra spheres now. So we need like 7 uh, spheres. About 7 spheres. A little bit over 7 spheres. Decent pull with the Rogan as well. Um, to actually beat Guidance as we uh, no longer did 98 spheres. But it will be like... 108, 109, something about that. Uh, that so, a little bit more. Morex, Morex is kind of the hero. Like I would, could imagine, could be a pretty decent starter hero. But then again, you don't really get the copies. It's hard to get the copies for a hero like Morex when you can go like for Eloise, which will be even better. And uh, Morex kind of stays like no, uh, is like no option for you to start with. So let's get our last course, the last two cores here, ending up on 108 cores in total. And we'll do skip cutscene here. Just some uh, quick course will take long enough as we don't do a 10 summon. Another loots we got in the last summon, which is nice. Um, and also coll already collecting a lot of Crystal of Transcendence through all this course. Uh, most of those cores, by the way, were collected free to play kind of interesting. We had quite some time to collect cores and even though we couldn't buy any, um, we got a lot from events that we did. Another sphere, very nice. And that's the end of it. Uh, we will of course now run into one problem and that is um, we can't really upgrade Espen a whole lot as we uh, lack the 10 stars for that. So that's bad. Maybe I will even take more 10 stars from the event because we won't get a lot more food pretty soonish. Then again, we got a lot of food now. I will look into that, guys. That's another story. So we should have seven spheres if we made a draw with Guidance, and if we didn't and have less, then the Guidance beat us, I guess, or Fate beat us, most likely. So let's have a look. And we are at seven. So that's nice. Got about the same as we would have with Guidance. Uh, more would have been appreciated. And now we can collect our wonderful Stellar, and now already at 2.68 million Stellar, halfway basically to an V4. Uh, one last thing I want to show you guys, which should be very cool. Now that we have an E5, we can actually go into Star Expedition. And our advance now upgrades our Aspen no longer to E5, but to V4 actually, which is kind of cool. Um, we can start in this thing. Desert. I already cleared that and tried to farm it again. Um, we can do that one more time. Basically, before I hit him at uh, E5, I needed two hits to clear that. Uh, we can see if that's still the case. I'm still looking for the last piece of the Osis set. Um, trying to complete the Osis set, of course, obviously, because of the carries. Um, no Osis here. I'm not long sure. I think we need Osis Persuasion. Osis Persuasion would be huge and would be huge damage as well. Um, though I wonder if we can do something against the boss now. I would imagine not. The boss uh, pretty much slaughtered us and we don't have any buffs, of course, because I'm the only person that actually cleared Area 1. So, not a whole lot of options here. Uh, yeah, we are lacking Oz's Persuasion. Yep. Yeah. So, Oz's Foresight sadly does nothing for us. Uh, and I noticed Amra is pretty much slaughtering us. When If Amra gets the option to slaughter us, she definitely will. Um, with a healing curse. And of course, uh, her shield is quite annoying as well at this point. Still, Aspen doing rather fine. Um, slaughtering the, uh, this wave. I wouldn't, honestly, I would have expected at the moment the Amra got the shield up that this would have been done, but uh, not really. Uh, the reason, of course, for Amra slaughtering us with healing curses is that we heal quite a lot with every uh, hit. You could see it here. Um, the armor are doing 220 million damage. Uh, we do quite a lot of damage as well, but uh, of course not to this extent. I think we are most likely fa uh, fine farming on this stage till we can do the next one, because the next one will again take two hits per um, per stage, so I think we have better chances to get the last Osis piece here than we would have um, later on. Of course, now we fail to the armor healing curse, as I told you. Uh, let's skip this one. 
And I'm still pretty happy with the damage. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with the damage. We get victory after victory, victory after victory. Um, and I think I will do the rest of the fights and then we will see us again and see if I got Osis. Okay, that took exactly two seconds and we got it twice. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. Honestly, it's, it's like it's like I did one fight. I stopped it here and, uh, and on this one I got it. And let's do this one as well. Um, and now I want to really go for the boss fight because that would be pretty cool as well. Um, with the Osis Persuasion, we know which one is Osis, not one of those. I think it's this one, this one, Osis Persuasion. Um, and with this Osis Persuasion piece, we actually complete our four piece set. And now basically every ally that dies, and we have three carries, will give us 10% attack, 10% holy damage, 10% all damage, that 20% crit rate. Um, one thing I want to add though, this what we do here is not optimal. This is super far from optimal. We only farm the first area um, because basically we won't get far in um, Star Expedition and we know that. Like we have no option to uh, reach anything here. So we can go into the first area, farm our pieces, but like we won't, um, we can't really complete it. We can now maybe go for the second area. This should now be possible. We can try that. But last time I was struggling to clear the second area. I've never actually felt the difference between one and two, but now we actually do. And you can actually see it like we can't one shot anymore. It's no longer possible for us. Um, even though the Osis buff certainly helps and um, with us only having like one hero on the battlefield, of course, um, we actually, we still lose. <laughs> Um, we actually get a lot of energy fat, so that's quite good as well. Though you we really notice the Osis set. The Osis set uh, really made a huge difference. We can try this one as well. And afterwards, I want to go for the boss. Yeah, you can see the difference. Like, they have twice the amount of health. It's actually quite uh, ridiculous. I never knew. I never knew, guys. Um, but right now, of course, yeah, that's insane. That's, that's such an insane difference. Uh, how they slaughter us here in uh, comparison to the first stage. But yeah, right now I really want to go for the boss. We got some attempts here, which can go three times up against him. Last time he basically instantly killed me. <laughs> was quite ridiculous. We're still at the boss 100 and last time I looked we were at 98. The people from my clan are actually attacking, but we are early game. There's really not much we can do against it. Um, the tentacles from the boss are slaughtering us, the boss itself is slaughtering us. Um, the CC is pretty mean as well. Last time I didn't get two hits out, I was actually considering going for Coast set. But, I mean like this time we did quite a lot of damage, uh, 7161 points. Uh, considering the whole guild has 12,000 points, we now at ranking 33, <laughs> rising up. Chicken co-op, here we come. Let's do another hit. 89%. I mean, guys, that's huge. That's huge. We are doing huge damage. I mean, like, we could upgrade the Ignis to 6 star, but I doubt it would actually help. And another problem, of course, uh, energy drain. We get energy drained. It's actually uh, like the mechanic from the boss, the not the third ability, the fourth ability. Reduces the enemy with the highest attack by 100. The energy from us will be reduced every time, basically. So um, this Aspen will only get one active off, which is quite sad, actually. And uh, if we can get another basic, we are already lucky. We have, of course, Purify. Um, but it won't save us from getting uh, CC'd. So if we get double or triple CC'd, that really doesn't save us. But I think we did some pretty decent damage. Of course, not what you would expect in endgame from an A+, but like we have an A+, Aspen as our first E5. We just got an, our, an E5 this episode, already doing damage to the boss and progressing and already on 29 on Amazon. So I think that's huge, guys. I think that's huge. And with that, I want to end the video wish you guys a great week and we'll see us tomorrow actually uh in my next live stream happy to see you there definitely check that out on my youtube channel and with that bye guys <laughs>